Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, I realized that I've been using these push buttons in my transistor series and I haven't really made very clear sort of how they actually work. So well, let's take an episode of Friday Minis and basically explain what actually is going on with this little component. I'm sure you know how a basic switch actually works, right? The idea is there are two contacts. If the switch is pressed down, there is a short between the two contacts, electricity can flow, and yeah, you create a closed circuit. That is of course for a normally open switch, right? So occasionally that's actually written as an NO switch, normally open. There is also another kind of switch that is normally closed. Idea being when you press it, that's the only time the circuit breaks. So yeah, again, not too complex, but how does this actually sort of fit into our actual push button? Because our actual push button has four pins. Why do we need so many pins? What's going on? As it turns out, it's not that hard to understand because internally, they are just connected in an H pattern. Because these two pins are always shorted to each other, essentially they are not very different from one pin, right? They are built this way just for your convenience. The brick is across the center. So yeah, the idea is when you actually push the button down, then all four pins are technically shorted together. When you lift it up, you know, the left two are still shorted, the right two are still shorted, but well, it's open in the middle. To tell which two pins are shorted, you normally have to refer to the data sheet, though I have realized that, you know, most of these kind of switches I've seen, the two pins that are closer together are actually the two pins that are not connected. So yeah, they're connected across the long edge. Having the pins laid out in this manner can actually help us in say having a little pull down resistor. Usually the way I'll connect these switches is something like that, right? I'll leave one leg disconnected. I'll have one pin going to the output and the same side going to ground through a pull down resistor. The opposite side goes to our high state. And the idea is anytime we press the button down, the high state comes along, right, directly to the output pin, it overrides the pull down, and our output goes high. If we lift up the switch, the output now goes to ground through our pull down resistor. And as a result, it never floats, it goes straight down to ground. Of course, if you were to actually pull out that resistor, then technically your input pin is floating. And if you connect it to something sensitive, like say an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi, you will see the numbers start to fluctuate up and down. So yeah, that's the idea, that's how a 4-pin push button works. Hopefully, well, things aren't so confusing now whenever I actually use these buttons in my circuits. But yeah, that's basically it, right, just to give you a very quick idea. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV with nerdfirst.net. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my work and are feeling generous, you can shoot me a one-time donation on PayPal or sign up for a recurring one on Patreon. Of course, you can simply like, comment and subscribe, you know the deal. For more videos, links to my channel and a related playlist are on screen. Thank you for your support.